Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're looking to find the value of c such that the line y is equal to 2x plus 3 is tangent to the parabola y is equal to cx squared. So what do we know about this tangent point, this tangent line to the curve? Well, we know that there's a certain point where they intersect, so that's clear, and at that point, they obviously have the same x and y value, but also the slopes are the same, which means the value of the derivatives is also going to be the same, and that's how we're going to find c. So, firstly, we have y is equal to 2x plus 3, and y is equal to cx squared. Using this, since we know that they're going to be equal at some point, we can say at that point, 2x plus 3 is equal to cx squared because at that point, they have the same y value. Okay, if we look at the derivatives, since we know that they're gonna have the same slope, they're gonna have the same value of the derivative. The derivative for this first one, y prime, is going to be, for this term, just the x term, it's gonna be the coefficient, since it's x to the first power, plus the derivative of the constant three is just zero, so two plus zero. The derivative on this side, for cx squared, we have a power function, so you take the coefficient, you bring it out in front, you multiply it by the exponent, which is 2, and then your new exponent is 2 minus 1, which is 1, x to the first power is just x, so y prime is 2cx. Now, we know that the slopes are the same, so 2 is going to be equal to 2cx at whatever this point is. If we want to solve for this, we need to get them in the same form. So if you divide, or I think it's easier to think of it as multiplying. If you multiply this by some fraction, we want it to give us 2cx. What fraction is that? Well, we want to divide by x because we want the x squared to become x. We want to multiply 2 so, 2c, so c can become 2c. To keep this equal, we have to multiply both sides. That will give us 2 over x times 2x is going to be 4, plus 2 over x times 3 is 6 over x, and this is equal to 2cx, which is what we were looking for. So if this is equal to 2cx and 2 is equal to 2cx, 4 plus 6 over x is equal to 2. Subtracting by 2 on both sides, we get 6 over x is equal to or sorry, subtracting by 4 on both sides, um, 6 over x is equal to negative 2. Cross multiplying there, you get negative 2x is equal to 6. Solving for x here, you can get x is equal to negative 3, and this is the point that they are intersecting at. At least it's the x value. If you want to find the y value, you can just plug in negative 3 for 2, for x into the line, you get negative 6 plus 3, which is negative 3. So the point negative 3, 3 is the intersection point at this tangent. So we want to find c, and we know that the point negative 3, negative 3 is on this line, or is on this curve. So we plug in negative 3 for x and negative 3 for y, we can solve for c. So you get negative 3 is equal to c times negative 3 squared. Again, plugging in negative 3 for x, negative 3 for y. Solving for c, negative 3 squared is 9c. Divide both sides by 9. You get c is equal to negative 3 over 9, which is negative 1 third. So this is the value of c that they're looking for, and therefore the parabola would be negative 1 third x squared. But, as always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.